What we want to do now is to convert this file containing all the measurements and GPS data into a format suitable to be uploaded onto Google Earth. This format is called KML. In order to do so, we will export this signal coverage file from the meter to a pen drive. First, we will need to connect the pen drive to the HD Ranger 2. We will access to the Installations Manager by pressing the Folder button, select the installation where we are working, and press F2 Manage. Once in the Installation Manager, we can filter the list of files shown by pressing F1, All, and choosing only Signal Monitoring Files. We select our signal coverage file and press F2, File, and Copy to USB. Now we will go to the following Promax website. Select the language and press over the XML icon. A file explorer window will open up. We must find and select the signal coverage file in our pen drive. Our KML generator will open up, allowing the user to define how the data must be shown in Google Earth. First, we need to choose whether we want to display all the test points in colors graded proportionally to the value of one of the quality measurements of our terrestrial TV signal. Or, alternatively, if we just want to assign to each test point one of the two possible colors depending on whether each test point quality measurement surpasses or falls short in comparison with a user-defined threshold. We will show both cases. In the first case, we select the measurement we want to display on Google Earth, that is, power level, carrier to noise, MER, CBR, LBR, or lean margin. In our case, we choose power level. Then we choose the colors we want to assign to the test points according to good and bad quality measurement values, and what the minimum and maximum values for that quality measurement are. If you want the application to automatically select the minimum and maximum values from all the test points in the XML file, this can be done by ticking off the appropriate checkbox. Otherwise, you can choose other values if you will. Other options allow you to overlay a legend with the colors used and minimum and maximum values for the measurement selected, include those test points in which the meter was not locked to the digital TV signal, which means that only the power level and carrier to noise measurements will appear for that test point, add extra information so that when you click on one test point, a box will pop up showing the whole set of measurements taken in that point, power level, carrier to noise, MER, CBR, LBR, and lean margin, and finally, an option to avoid showing several test points in the same GPS location for those cases where the car was stopped during the drive test. After we select the type of marker used for plotting the test points, we can click on the Click Here to get your Google Earth KML button. If you had previously installed Google Earth in your computer, the KML file can be opened by this application and the corresponding map will be displayed. We can see all the test points shown in different colors following a gradient which corresponds to the value for the power level measurement. In the upper left corner, we can see the colors assigned and the minimum and maximum values for the quality measurement selected. The higher the value is, the closer to bright green. The lower it is, the closer to deep red. When we click on any test point, we can see all the values for the rest of measurements. In the second case, the pass-fail option, we select as well which measurement we want to display for all test points, which colors will define the pass and fail status, in our case green and red respectively, and what the threshold quality value is. Again, 
we have the possibility to define a series of additional options and we will generate the KML file in the end. Now we can see that Google Earth is showing each test point in either green or red color, depending on whether that test point is below or above the selected threshold for the chosen measurement, in our case, the power level measurement. You can still see the legend and all the rest of measurements for each test point.